Under promise and over deliver. Let's talk about that. Hey everybody, this is Zach with IT Career Questions. And before you guys even say anything in the comments, yes, I am burnt. Happy 4th of July. I got extremely burnt by the sun over the weekend. I was out taking pictures all weekend and I didn't put sunscreen on. Not very smart. Had a great time, but now I'm paying for it. I have a nice tan line here because I had a hat on all weekend. My nose is burnt. I have a cold. I am just completely out of sorts. But anyway, this video is talking about under-promising and over-delivering. And this is something that I want all of you guys to really take to heart and something that you should really think about just moving forward in IT in general and always keep it in the back of your head because this is something that is extremely important in IT because you are always going to be asked to do things. And everybody's always gonna ask you how long it's gonna take you to get it done or they're gonna to try to make you put it in some type of time frame, or they will give you their own time frame, right? But you know and I know typically how long some of these projects will take, right? But I know from experience that I could tell somebody, oh, it's gonna take me about an hour and a half to get your little project done. But I know that in that hour and a half, I could come across seven different issues from different people and get caught up in all of these different things. And this hour and a half project that I promised for this person is ends up taking like eight hours to do just because I got caught up in all this other thing all these other things. So there's a lot of time management that's involved in IT and I've kind of talked about that before and I, I will definitely talk about that in future videos for sure. But this video is specifically talking about under promising and over delivering. So what you want to tell people is you're going to give them a time frame that is a little bit beyond how long it's actually going to take to do that project. So like for us, like when we're imaging computers, we typically tell people about two days. It's going to take us two days to image your computer. On a good day, if we're not getting interrupted, we're not, you know, too extremely busy, we can have that computer imaged in like, you know, four or five hours and ready to go out the door. But we like to tell people about two days because a lot of things typically come up and we just can't get it completely done in time. So there's things that happen that always get in the way. So we definitely under promise say, okay, it's gonna take about two days to get it done and we'll get it back to you. So expect it in about two days or so and you know, we'll get a hold of you then, blah, blah, blah. So then what happens is five hours later, you give them a call and you say, hey, you know what? I was able to get your laptop done. I was able to just completely focus on it. So I'm going to come deliver it. You're good to go, right? That's under promising and over delivering. And things like that happen very, very often in IT. And that's something that really will look good for you. So you typically want to always try to under promise and over deliver because that is going to get you far. Trust me, you never want to give somebody a time frame and be very exact on that time frame because then they're always going to expect that. And of course, you never want to give somebody a time frame and not come through on that time that you have given them. So definitely overestimate how long it's going to take you to do something and then just deliver it early and then you look good. Then they're going to be very, very happy that you got things done quicker than you had initially told them. So that is under promising and over delivering. And that is one thing that I really, like I said, want you guys to really keep in the back of your head and remember as you're getting into IT, as you're getting into your career, always remember to under promise and over deliver because in the end, it will look very, very good for you when you're getting things done sooner than what you tell them to. So I hope you guys found this video useful and if you guys have any questions in regards to this or if you have any other pointers that you think you can give to people, you know, leave them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to, to hear from you guys. As always, I greatly appreciate it and take it easy.